Hi guys, welcome back to Project Zomboid Free Nina, starting episode 34. It's the 16th of February, 7 a.m., waking up in our gas station bathroom. Um, looks like it's just starting to snow here, actually, and uh, yeah, interesting. So, um, yeah, let's just do the usual, we'll go fill up. Um, oh, wow, okay, yeah, okay, still a little bit left. That's running out. Um, now we're under toilet water, lovely toilet water. Definitely getting our money's worth out of this bathroom. Um, so yeah, yesterday we um, we perpetrated that ripoff of the gun store, which was glorious. And uh, yeah, we pulled in, you know, a full trailer full of loot. You know, so we've got, yeah, 12 boxes of 223, 7 boxes of 308, 8 boxes of 38 special, 8 boxes of 44 Magnum, 6 boxes of 45 Auto, and 10 boxes of 9mm, and another 10 boxes of shotgun shell. Uh, some extras, like a few different guns. I got a whole bunch of Desert Eagle pistols, which I'm kind of wondering about right now. Um, we picked up some double barrel shotguns, which are good for repair. Yep. One's intact, one's for repair. One of them's probably the one I was using. JS2000 needs a little work. We got a 1911. Uh, M36, that's my spare. Uh, M625. Two of them in perfect condition, an M9 pistol, and then these MSR 700 and MSR 788. They both okay. One shoots 223, and one shoots 308. So the 308 is the heavier one, more damage, a similar gun, but just different caliber. Uh, interesting. This 223 would be almost like a. It's a small rifle. Oh, the 223 is a real round. It's not like a BB gun. Um, it's a little bit uh, got more punch than that, but. It's like sort of like a 22, I guess. And then the 308 is a 308. So that thing's going to shut things down. Both of those are in perfect condition. That's great. Fiberglass stock can be mounted on those two rifles. Weapon attachment decreases firearm weight and increases accuracy. Interesting. And then the scope goes on a lot of different things. So look, can be mounted on the MSR 788, MSR 700, M16 assault rifle, and M14. Oh, those two weapons I did not find. And boy, do I want those weapons. Um, I feel, I'm I'm disappointed, you know. Um, I know there's other firearms locations that we could go to. There's there's a, a shooting range near the mall. And there's, um, there's also a military base way on the other side of the map. And I've honestly never encountered either of those weapons, M16, M14, in the game, in the time I played it. So I kind of want them, guys. Uh, and then we've got times four scope, which is cool. So those are um, increasing the range of those. Interesting. So these are like reflex sight, and this is like a sniper sniper scope kind of thing. Um, yeah. So let's take a look. Let's actually get the 308. We had a lot of 308, right? We've got seven boxes, and then 223. We've got 12 boxes. It's a lot. I doubt we need more than 223 to put these guys down. Um, let's try the um. Let's try loading this up with a fiberglass stock. And let's put the sniper scope on it. I've never done this before, guys, so I wonder if you need... We only have one sniper scope. Interesting. Um, upgrade with the fiberglass stop. Oh, what is it? It's already got... Oh, it's already got an eight-time scope on it, guys. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so I think it just went down by half a kilo. That's pretty awesome. Now we're making money. Um, what has this got on it? That's got nothing on it. So let's put the... Okay, I'll quickly check my... Um, Interesting that we're putting stuff back in and it's lighter now, so. <laughs> uh, oh, those both have eight times scope on them. Whoa. So I guess the, um, we can save the four times, you know. But one of these, let's let's put a fiberglass stock on one of these at least. Take the fiberglass stock first. Upgrade it. Yes. Yeah, so it comes down by half a kilo. That's That's amazing, guys. Um, I'd love to actually try these out, but I feel like in this particular spot we're in, it might be unwise to um, to do that. But the issue we have is that the, um, yeah, this thing's full. Shooting glasses. Can you wear these? Yeah, cool, guys. That's awesome. And I don't know if it replaced anything. I don't think it did. So that's that's amazing. So wait. I'm going to drop my hand torch here. We, oh, gosh. So in the, Sorry, I forgot. In the back of the truck, we ran out of space. We've got... 12, oh, those are just stray rounds. So 44 Magnum. Uh, okay, two boxes of 44 Magnum, a box of 38 Special. More 308, more 223. Wow, guys. 
So that was like a hunting store almost. Um, three boxes of nine mil, another six boxes of shotgun shells, guys. Oh, <laughs> so we're loaded. And then I got another three 1911 pistols, an M9 and a Magnum. So, and another double barrel shotgun. So I was just like so loaded. Oh, it's amazing. The back, um, back of the truck is not quite full. Another seven kilos we can do. I think what we're gonna do guys is, um, it's nine in the morning. What I need to do is spend a little bit of time with my gear because I don't want to drag back stuff we don't need. Oh, we've got the deer trophy too. Don't forget that, it's three kilos in the back. Um, anyway, I, I think um, we should spend a little bit of time clearing this out. Now, what do we do with bullets and shell ammo strap? Let me do, it's clothing. Oh, interesting. Uh, I didn't, I've never seen this before. So can we wear that? Um, where? Cool. Don't think it replaced anything. I don't really know what it does though, but I have to read up the wiki on that one. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's a bandolier. That looks awesome. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh yes. So we've got 20, 26 rounds of 38 special. That's not bad. It's a little something. Um, that's about as all I want to carry right now. I think what I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing is trying to sort the, the back out, you know, like I'm going to try to move some of the shells over to here and see if there's anything I don't need in the, in the truck. So let me spend a bit of time with that and I'll get back to you guys. Hey guys, about 2 p.m. Um, did a major shakedown, um, you know, got rid of a bunch of junk that I left in the, uh, in the, in the uh, gas station. Um, we're down to, yeah, we've got 88 out of 107 so freed up about 20 kilos in the in the back seat there in the, the in the uh back of the truck we're still full in the uh the trailer but it's almost all it's all ammo and, and guns now so that's good that thing's full up we got about 20 kilos that we could go so i've got my mind on that uh, police station that's in town and i think what we should do is just with the rest of the day go um take a little look at what's over there um we're pretty so we've been starving all day and yeah, we're still 85 though. So I think we're just gonna nurse this red wine. Uh, what I did do is, um, you know, drinking and driving and such, eh? not to be recommended, but it is the zombie apocalypse. And uh, yeah, we made one more Molotov. So I've got two of them in the, in the glove compartment and one in the backpack. So we're pretty good for Molotovs. Um, but yeah, still super hungry, but I'm not gonna really mess with that too much because it's um, because of the weight issue. So let's go back into town and take a peek at the uh, the gas station. Oh, look at these guys. Let's deal with these guys. Can't have them this close to home. Even if I'm hungry, they gotta go. Tell you what, considering this situation, let's take a little run up the street. And, oh, yeah, see, there's 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 issues here, guys. Let's try to deal with this. Probably should have taken a bit more of a walk around. What's she got in her back? Cleaver. Meat cleaver, nice. Yeah, because I remember there was a pretty decent stash of them up the road here at one point, but... Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'm sure to encounter a few more, but I want to loop around and see if we can see the gas station from the west. Sorry, the uh, the police station from the west. Yeah, a couple more. Okay. So those are not going to wander in at night. I'm feeling a little tired already. Might as well take some vitamins. While driving. For drinking, we might as well be popping pills too. And yeah, that, that wine bottle will turn into yet another Molotov. Okay, so up here, this is the main drag oh look at this, eh? Significant company here. Police vehicle. Good old landmark. Okay, fire vehicle, another good landmark. Yeah, it's still real busy in town, wow. You know, for all the work I've done, all the polls I've done, it's still real busy. I'm hoping that the we, police station's not busy, but wishful thinking, right? 
Gas station, okay. Be nice to clear that too. But where is that police station? It's kind of... I feel like it's south of here. Or is it on the main drag? I think it's south. Cut south a little bit. I think that's the Gigamart there. Maybe I'm wrong though. No, I think I'm wrong. I think it's back there. Church. I sort of remember being down here. Yeah, this is where we got into it with those uh, many, many zomboids. Okay. So we're just doing a little bit of a recce here. Cut this way. density guys police station where are you cut up one street is this the gigamart yeah uh, this is the uh it's the gigamart i missed the police station um I think perhaps I was on the right track. It's just over one street. Let's try cutting over a street. Yeah, I think it might be over here. Yes, police. There we go. Oh, look at that. Let's see. Oh, still a fair bit around here, guys. It's kind of tight in here, too. I don't know how we're going to do this. I could run them all over. Almost enough that I could take out just in a fight, you know. If I was if I was feeling it. Let's go down a little bit here. So I'm trying to make the connection from here down to where I where I sleep. All the, okay, this is that survivor house. So the police station's just up the road from that survivor house. And I remember I think I couldn't cut through the woods down here, I ran into problems. With the truck. Interesting. Oh, and I did something bad over here. Oh, this is that connection. Okay, so the police station is just up from there. So that's basically walking distance from the gas station. But it would be nice to have the truck so I don't have to worry about um, getting myself killed here. Let's let's drink another. Let's drink half the bottle of wine. Still hungry though. Pretty quiet in this parking lot. That that big squad over there is moving on. Okay, let's leave this. Let's do a little bit of work here. Nice and quiet there. I already see somebody with a. Let's unpack the chips. Try to get a little bit of strength up here. Okay, yeah, I don't want to get into it with that whole squad, but... Let's try to draw them out. We'll do a little work. I doubt this is a today thing. Boy, we're still hungry even after that, eh? Yikes, it was kind of a waste. I should have just starved.
This is the reduced strength problem here. Okay. Take it out. So, GS2000, I guess for the time being. Bulletproof vest is damaged. Vitamins, hey. Need those. Box of 45 auto, nice. And a pistol. Take it for now. These guys were loaded. Uh, more 38 special. Whoa. 9 mil. That's got some ammo in it. These guys are loaded. Toss this in the back. Okay, guys, unfortunately, we're very tired. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to take a bunch more before we, we deal with this. So let's go sleep it off. Definitely nasty down here. I think this takes us down to the gas station. It's actually oh, it's actually really close. Yeah, there's a lot. There's people not too far off my spot here. It's walkable. I mean, the question is how much ammo we're we gonna find in there, right? What kind of trouble do we want to get into? Okay, so super tired, unfortunately. Uh, that's the wine kicking in. Ridiculously, inhumanly tired. Let's just sleep. And we'll try to hit it first thing in the morning. Go to bed early. Set the alarm for... Set up for 5 a.m. Okay, there we go. It's really early. Um, okay, so we've got that empty bottle. Nice. I'm going to quickly um, produce a Molotov out of that so it's done. Rip up, uh, rip the tank top up. Wow, guys! After yesterday, not really eating anything except for a bottle of wine and half bag of chips, we're still at 85 kilos, still overweight, and we're forced now to um, to eat because we want to have want to go in fighting. Okay, so let's take a look at our our food bag. Let's see what's left. That's not junk. It's all junk, though. I think. I guess the tuna is okay. Let's eat the tuna. Let's eat it all. Let's just see how much space do I have in the trunk? Oh, we're pretty close. Ah, another 10 kilos. So if it's ammo, we should be all right. Okay, so let's um, let's try eating one of those things of tuna right now. Bleach bottle's full. That's good. That did it. Nice. So we can just nurse the other tuna. We should be all right. Let's get back there. Try to do the job. Yeah, that group is moving down into my area for sure. Oh, look at it. That um, storage facility is packed. Are they these behind? The spear in that guy. Oh my gosh, what's happened since yesterday? Hope their parking spot's still clear. There's a good parking spot. Turn it around so it's ready to go. 
Okay. Hey guys, action time. Let's do it. Take care of this fella. This, this lady here. This fella. Hard hat, I think is not really... It's nice though, it's red, but... We wear riding helmets, that's crystal style. Okay, this team here. Oh. Do this, let's do this crew. Let's get rid of it. I don't know what that guy's wearing. Crystal's rugged when she's fully rested. Just crush them. Right, here we go. Customer. Come on out, guys. Oh, look at this. Okay, contact. That's right. I broke on through. She's tough like that. I had a cool shirt on. What was that? Not the polo shirt. The t-shirt? Big guy. Nice. Yeah, I fear that the police station's packed, but let's go do these ones just for completeness. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, it's full. Full house, guys. Yeah, that was great. Uh, time for a break, though. And smoke. Eight in the morning. A lot of work for the first thing. Um, yeah, she's she's effective. Oh, nine mil. Nice. Um. Oh. Feels like she's slowing down just a touch here for whatever reason. 